çok gurur duydum hepinizle. Buyurun oturun lütfen. Ne kadar değerlisiniz. Hepinize hoş geldiniz diyorum. Hepinizi sevgiyle, saygıyla selamlıyorum. Members of the Parliament, delegates and guests, welcome to Jale Tezar Model United Nations Organization. As the deputy chairman of the institution, I would like to mention that we are proud to host this prestigious event. You become representatives of the United Nations, student ambassadors, charged with building a better future. What I thought I would do today, maybe for the next 15 minutes, is uh, highlight four points that may be irrelevant in terms of your work as delegates. And I saw some of the countries that you're representing outside. And we actually established the UN Environment Program in 1972, imagine. It's one of the great contributions of the UN. And you must remember that. And I know some of the topics that you may be discussing are related to that. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to our organizing team. I appreciate teachers, our hardworking academic advisor in Estol Sakal, Honorable Secretary General Asar Akshanal, and his deputy, Sevilay Bati Joshkin. My beloved deputy to my island, dear academic and organization teams, dear advisors, and the most distinguished participants. It's an honor to welcome you all to the third annual session of the JT MUN with excitement. As a ninth grade student attending MUN three years ago, just like you are now today, who uh, with his friends, who also stand here as the team members of JT MUN 22. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> So, Texas is a big state. It has borders to Mexico, it has borders to the western side of the country, of the Union, of course, and it has borders to the Oklahoma side. Maybe under supplied, some of them will be more supplied than others. However, we have to open supply hubs for any kind of military operation. The leader of the USSR, Vladimir Lenin, has died and the date is updated. Message to USSR saying that we are sad for the leaders. Resolution, David Hitler's sad blow. One, contact all educational institutions, Ministry of National Education. existing technological knowledge in order to be resilient to potential hybrid cyber threats. Yeah, but if I jump on the beat 